We then lads, we are here for episode 9 of the Newcastle United career mode, it's back, it's been a little, it feels like a little bit of a while since I've done it, but I've been playing FIFA and stuff, but now we're back on the career mode, Newcastle United are in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup as you can see there. So in today's episode we'll look through what we are actually going to be doing, it's nearly time for January transfer window so I'm like just wanting to get into it, depending, I'll definitely play West Ham and Ipswich, I'm not sure about Villa and Man United, I might keep that for a separate video and then the episode after that will be the, um, oh, Lincoln in the Cup, I like that, but going into January we need to make some signings I think and then obviously going on to the season as we always do. Carabao Cup time, this could be massive, this could be probably the only chance we get a trophy, obviously the FA Cup could be the FA Cup, but Carabao Cup, we, we've just played so a lot of players are, are quite tired so we're going to this game now, West Ham United, at home in the Carabao Cup quarter final. So that's going to be the team. Botman's um, got low in um, fitness. So's Livermento and so's Harvey Barnes. Isaac's not fully fit, but I can deal with that. And he's up to 87. Tonali's up to 87. Good ratings going up there. Really do like it. If, if you remember, in the career mode, we have, have already played West Ham at home. And we got beat. I think it was 3-1. So we don't want that to happen again. That's the team we're going to play. Hopefully the lads can... Get through to the quarter, uh, to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Ruth, we here. What? Well, for some reason, the trainer thing was on. I don't know why, but we here. West Ham in the Carabao Cup. Got away, even though the straight on the attack, straight away. Well in. Oh my God! Somerville just ran straight for me whole team, and he scored. He's literally just ran for me whole team. Like, what? I literally couldn't do it. That literally felt like they had like sliders on or something. He just literally ran, ran, ran. I literally couldn't do anything. We're 1-0 down already, man. And Bremo. Oh, it's a good save. Fox save. No. Since when did Isaac have five star skills? Come on! Isaac's got five star skills for some reason. I don't even know why. I don't know if since it's been upgraded, I've just done a fake with Bona, I've done a McGeady spin, and then Anthony Gordon finishes it off, we're batting the game 1-1, we've done really well since we went 1-0 down, like, great pass, we've, we've deserved it, like, we've had some good chances and Anthony Gordon sticks it in the top corner, 1-1, come on. Half time, 1-1, probably a fair result, West Ham haven't really had a chance since they scored, they've had four shots, but... I think we've done our reach. Um, Isaac's getting tired, which is um, I can tell. But done well for the goal, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Second half now. Come on. I've got no on. I've got absolutely nothing on. Like, what am I going to do here? I don't know if I will. I cross it, I'll just win it. Oh, that deflect. Oh, it didn't, man. Oh my god, it's went in! I did not expect that one bit to go in! Alexander Rizak, 2-1 in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. I, I just thought, you know what? Just, just go for it. Just, just go on, Beans. Just hit it. Just hit it. And he has. Oh my god, it's went in. 2-1. What a finish. Anthony Gordon, the assist. Because I, I, I didn't expect the defenders to be there. 0. Um, 0 0.05 uh, to score that. Lobatelli's fuming. Come on! Alexander Rizak, finish and a half. And Bremo, go on. Oh, what a save. Rebound, rebound. Come on! Come on! 3 1. And then he goes and gets his second of the game. Rebound goals in this game, even on Ultimate Team, obviously, on any game. It's, um, you score quite a lot of them, and I'm not going to complain when it, when it goes for you, but when it goes against you, it's horrible. Anthony Gordon. Oh, I like, tell you what, on, this, on career mode in general, I don't really do skill moves, but like, I'm just thinking, play like how I do on Ultimate Team and come on, Anthony Gordon. I'm going to start making some subs though, because um, the fitness of the players, I've obviously got a big game on the weekend, but got to hold on now, come on. What on earth? How has Nick Pope kept that out? Oh, it was going to get squeaky bum time there, but... That is unbelievable. That was absolutely sensational. Uh, that's got now they were locked that in the game. That's just brilliant by Nick Poe. Wow. Free kick then the game. Keevan Trippier. Oh, that's going to be full time. It is. 
We are through to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Lovely, lovely stuff. It depends who we get in the next round, because obviously this next round should be two legs due to like how it is in real life. Birmingham beat Arsenal and Brighton beat Man City. Oh my God. And then Southampton and Liverpool. This could be massive. If we were to get Birmingham, who were in League One, by the way, Wembley could happen again. Oh my God, the Man City losing. Wow, unbelievable. So we have the final game before Christmas. Newcastle United play Ipswich away. They're sitting 19th in the league. But um, I want to check who we've got in the, in the cup in the next round. I don't know if it will be there now. I don't know if they made the draw. It should be on the next page. Oh, it's Liverpool. It's Liverpool. And there's no two legs, I don't think. Oh, there is. There's two legs, yes. Two legs to Liverpool. Oh, we've got the worst one. There's Brighton, Birmingham and Liverpool and we've got Liverpool. Oh, that's really annoying. They obviously didn't really run the league and they beat us already this season. Oh, but... If we beat Liverpool, it makes our life so much easier if we work to get to the final. But we'll go to the game as an Ipswich. I might change the team a little bit about because I want to see the fitness. I've not looked at it, so let's have a look. So much day versus Ipswich. The last game before Christmas. Funny enough as well, I haven't got the stadium. This is the only team probably in the Premier League um, without their stadium. So this will be like back in the day when you played like your career modes in the Championship and League One. It's going to be one of them stadiums, but... Ipswich away, last one before Christmas, let's try and stay in the top four. Yeah, we are, this literally feels like a championship career mode man with this stadium, but Ipswich, gotta win this if there's 19 in the league, let's have it. Why does Harvey Bond feel so slow? Pass it to Isaac, though he won't feel slow. Oh, it's a good save. There's Isaac, Alexander. Go yourself, Alexander Isaac. Oh, it's a great save by the goalkeeper again. Harvey Barnes. There it is. Got to be 1-0. Got to be 1-0. And it is 1-0. Harvey Barnes. He's got a hat-trick in his last Premier League game. Gets the goal for Newcastle. They make it 1-0. Don't know what he's doing there, like, but... A goal that we probably just heard. Ipswich have been dangerous, but... Harvey Barnes finishes the job just before half-time. 1-0. Come on. Oh, my God. It's went in. I don't know if that's deflected or something, but the former son and player, Jack Clark, scored. Like, that is right before half-time. The whistle's literally about to blow. Edge of the box. I don't know if that's deflected off Tenali. No, Nick Pope probably should do better. How could he save that one against West Ham, but not that. It's going to go half-time now, when it showed, yeah, half-time. Just before half-time, man, but 1-1. One, one. Probably should be winning. To be fair, they've had all the possession. Bloody hell. Oh my fucking god, man. And Ben, will you on tight, please? Come on! Get in! 82nd minute. Brian and Bremo makes it 2 1. Oh, that, this has been such a stressful half. I just couldn't get that right pass. Thank God for that, man. We needed that. We've got some tough games coming up just before the new year. And we've got to be winning games like this. It's not over. It's it's truly, truly not over. But Brian and Bremel makes a 2-1. Thank God. Is that, is that full-time ref? How are Blow your whistle. Blow the whistle, ref away. Come on. They're the wins that are probably the most satisfying. Probably, honestly, we didn't deserve to win that. If switched them really, really well. But that's probably the... Um, that game probably summed up their season. Like, they had more shots, more possession... But we just took our chances. Luckily, thank God for that. We're ending off the episode. Both games, both wins, not too bad. But I'm going to end the episode off doing or, um, doing something. So I'll, I'll show you. So what I'm going to try and do before the episode, one player who has played recently, and I've not forgot about it, is the contract situation. And Fabian Shaw has been playing a lot for me at the minute. Gehi and Botman tend to have fitness issues. So I've been playing Fabian Shaw, and I think he's been unbelievable. So... We're going to try and offer Fabian Shaw a new contract. Out of all the players who are going to be out of contract, I think he's way more the, the most important one out of all of them. So we're going to try and get Shaw a new contract. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully it um, goes well. Little little Christmas present um, for Fabian Shaw. And I'm sure it's for his birthday around this time as well before Christmas. So we'll see if we can get this contract done. Fabian Shaw's on 105 grand a week. I don't think he's on that in real life. But we're going to offer 110 just to make sure that it will 
Because I can't be arsed at bonuses. If I get my extra 5k a week, then that'll add up fucking nicely. You know what? I'll, I'll just upset because it's Fabian Shaw. And we all need a Fabian Shaw. That's one thing we had to do was get Fabian Shaw a new contract. He has got a new contract. We'll quickly look at um, the players who actually do need a contract because there is a. Like, look, you've got Dan Byrne, you've got Longstaff, you've got Dubravka, John Ruddy. There's a, there's, a, there's a fair few players that need co uh, contracts, but that is going to be the end of episode 9. We've got two more games before the end. You can see there, eight players. We have got two more games before the end of the year. And then the transfer window opens up. So if you could let me know some transfer targets in the comment section down below. We'll quickly look at the M League table now. We are top four by three points. Um, you can see the league table there. Top four by three points. If we look at there, so you can see there are teams. We've got Villa in the next game. Again, we've got to win again. And then we've got Man United. So two teams are on our tail. If we lose both of them, it could be it could be curtains. But make sure to leave a like, boy, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, castle!